Now in solving this, let's raise both sides by the power i to the power of 4. So here you have x to the power of x to the power of 4. All to the power of 4, then equals to 64. All to the power of what? 4. Now let us recall the current to the law of indices that uh, a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n can also be written as a raised to the power of n or raised to the power of what? m. Okay, now in this case, let us represent this as n and 4 as m. Okay, so which means it can be interchanged. So here we have x raised to the power of 4. Now all raised to the power of x raised to the power of 4 will give us 64 raised to the power of what? I mean, sorry, raised to the power of 4. Now, this also can be rewritten as uh, a raised to the power of 2 or raised to the power of 4, which can also give be, uh, give us 2, 8 raised to the power of uh, 8. Now, in this case, according to the law of indices, this also can be a raised to the power of what? M, N. We should apply here. So, to this effect, now we can now say x raised to the power of 4 or raised to the power of x raised to the power of 4, also 8 raised to the power of 8. We can say that this is certain uh, we can be equated to that, and this can be equated to that. So we can say that x raised to the power of 4 equals to 8. Now we can now square root, I mean the fourth root of both sides. This will eliminate this. So our x will now be plus or negative the fourth root of 8. Thank you and God bless you.